Surely happiness can be found Surely there's someone for me Oh, who cares? Yes, who cares? For me Good to see you, Hunter. It's been a while since we've done a Let's Hunt. This one's gonna be dedicated to the water buffalo. We are here in Pickabean Bay and people ask me how can you hunt buffalo can you show me how this is done and maybe by the end of this video you will have a few more options a few more ideas first of all you need strong weapons when you hunt them uh, not only the buffalo but also the banteng the sambar need stronger weapons so it's always good to bring your strongest this one is the 9.374 r really strong weapon good enough for water buffalo especially since you can fire two shots in a row I will also bring the pulsar bow maybe we can bow shoot one especially from close this should be possible and then the muzzle loader pistol I've been using this quite a lot actually on the buffalo although you really need to be close from further away you don't want to uh, use these it's uh, it's gonna be too long until you can pick him up from the ground so you want to shoot him from really close what you do really is you run around look for tracks or listen for calls similar as you do with the bison the water buffalo will not flee it will just stand there and as you get closer they will start attacking you got a feral hawk here And we've got the magpie geese up in the air. A lot less annoying than the Canada geese in Hirschfelden. Oh, what do we have here? Banteng. Quite the opposite to the buffalo. They will flee very quickly. The hearing is average, but the seeing is really good. I've had cases where I walked up behind a hill to one but once they see you they're gone so we're not going to hunt much other animals here if we can get a shot at this the 74R would certainly take care of it not sure where this band thing is anyway when you track water buffalo the more you track them the higher your tracking skill of course like with any animal the highest you can find for water buffalo is when the weight estimation says it's from 1040 to 1200 kilograms so if we find one of these of course we will go after this this will be a major buffalo you will find the buffalo anywhere along the water so we will just run here until we find one this is either the band tank from before or probably a different one anyway so let's just run along the water until we have a track or we have a call before I find the first buffalo I want to just quickly explain what I'm going to do I will just run up to it and I will let it attack because that makes it very easy to shoot them from the side when they attack you just need to know a little bit how to move around you always need to run to the side they will align they will line up to you and then they will run after you if they attack they will not make turns they will always run straight so once you know this you just made slight uh, movements to the side and then they will stand right next to you and you can shoot them fairly easily you can also use trees to make them miss you they will come after you but they will miss you if you if you're just behind the tree and I just wanted to explain that to you before we get into that situation because then sometimes it gets a bit hectic a track of a water buffalo not very heavy though this is the first one we find here and they're pretty slow they have nowhere to go really and you can see the circle already 
So water buffalo ahead. We're gonna spend some time with it. What you need to bring, of course, is first aid kits. Sooner or later you will be run over by these, especially when you play around with them, when you let them attack. Gonna pull out the muzzy, actually, just in case it comes around unexpectedly. And we can hear it already. Now, depending on the score, it will see you from further. It can make turns quicker. And there we go. I wasn't fast enough. And they flee when they can knock you over and you cannot get up quickly enough. This will now trot away for quite a while. What I should have done and what you need to do is when they align, when they line up to you, towards you, you have to run to the side, run a little zigzag. So this one is now going to flee for a while and then it's going to stand there and I can run up to it again. So this is why it's important to have these first aid kits. The only exception when a buffalo will not attack you is either when it's standing in water or swimming, when it is in the water, or when there is water between you and the animal. It's not going to attack through water. There's a female over here. But first of all, I want to take revenge on this one. <laughs> It actually trots quite a bit, but then it's going to stand there. So this time I'm going to try and use a tree for my defense, as my defense. Up there, still trotting. Maybe it was in the water already. So there finally he is. Calm down. The first time he stopped in the water and fled again. He's now turning around and I can use this tree. He cannot reach me. As long as he sees me, he's gonna come. And I can play this game. And this is important for weapons that are not so strong, like this one here, the muzzle loader. What you can also do is, once you, once you end up right behind the cow, it's no longer going to attack. I'm going to try this here. Now he's confused. Now I'm exactly behind the cow. <laughs> All right. So now I stand right behind the cow and he doesn't know should I go left or right. Sometimes he goes straight but he cannot reach you. And especially with females, they will not even run straight. So you can play this a bit but with the males you want to be careful. So let's use the muzzle loader on this one from the side, it's going to be easy. <laughs> if he can reach us. Alright, now I want to re be really close. He might hit me again. There you go. And then it becomes easy. Nine hundred and fifty kilograms, one seventy-three. The best scores will be around two eighty. If you shoot a two fifty, then that's really good. Make sure to take a trophy shot. Not gonna do that here. So our first buffalo, a bit of playing around with it. With the next one, I want to show you how you can actually get away, just in case you didn't have a weapon for it. So let's say you're hunting rusa deer, maybe geese, maybe you want to pick up a goose, 
only have your shotgun with bird shot. Uh, your dog not, is not going to protect you from the buffalo. Uh, but you can get away from these. I want to show you that on the next. Look what I just found. This is not so common. 10 to 40 to 1200, like I said before, this is the maximum weight. This is a maximum bull. So, of course, we have to go after it. It doesn't guarantee a big score, but it's a good chance. So let's go after this. I'm coming closer here. And I see a buffalo ahead. Actually, two. There's one here. This one is below 1,000 kilograms. This one here. That will be our bull. And you can see heavy weight, but not a big score. Just barely around 200. This could be our bull. Let's just see, but we have to be careful. See, this guy is looking at us. So he sees us already, and we have a track here. So this will be our bull. And I'm not going to be uh, play cow fighting with these guys. Maybe we can harvest them both if we do really well with the shooting. But um, it'll be difficult. If this was a huge score, I would take it and, and leave here. He's coming already. And I'm not going for a bad shot. We have this bull down with the rifle. And it's only 204. That is quite disappointing for the weight estimation, but oh well. That was the rifle. And now I'm looking for a cow. Because I want to show you how, how you can get away from these guys. And I don't want to play this with males. You can get away, but um, just oftentimes you end up on the floor. Just spotting some cows here, a bantang and also a buffalo. Wanted to show you how they swim. The cow is now in the water and she's going to swim. Feral hawk over there. It's the conference of the animals. Oh no, she's still walking. So this is a situation where she would certainly never attack. I've had massive bulls very close to me, but in the water, and they ran. And now we can see the buffalo swim. All right, I will not bother her. I keep running into males. This one's even a big one. Again, heavy. So maybe we can play this game with this guy. The goal is to get away without having to shoot it. We are being attacked. And how can we get away from this guy? So the goal will be to get out of sight. We need to get out of sight. This is best done by going behind it. And now we should be able to get away. Yeah, I think we've done it. Once you're out of sight, we're okay. Hey! Should we try the bow kill on this one? The pulsar is a bit slow. Not my preferred bow for fast shots, but... Can we get this big guy with the bow? I'm hoping to get lungs here. 
pretty difficult from the front. And we have the bright spot. That is lung blood. Now I'm going to walk. I'm going to let it bleed out slowly. Not going to push it much. It's only going to run much further. So from the front, just miss the head. If you hit the head, it's like hitting a rock with the bow, certainly. But it's bleeding out pretty quickly. And we're going to have our bow kill. And while looking for our dying bull, I'm running into this cow here. So once you're behind them, they're a bit confused. You have all the time in the world. Take a zip from the bottle. This is going to be another muzzle loader kill. Just don't let them run straight at you. And we have long blood. All right, I'm going to pick up this uh, later. Let's go back to our bow shot kill. Yep. Deadpool coming up. There it is. Score estimation was 190 to 235, if I remember correctly. 225, that's going to be our best bull here, our best water buffalo. I'm going to pick up the other cow later. Actually, I didn't mind if it, it didn't die on the spot even with the muzzle loader shooting from really close because after all, these guys are tanks, they're not easy to shoot. Anyway, we got a few. I hope I was able to show you a few tricks, especially how you can get away from them, how you can shoot them, how you can dodge them and so forth. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much, stay in touch.